while Tesla has been releasing more affordable vehicles over time, the truth is that Tesla's vehicles are still too expensive for the majority of the population. Tesla's cheapest vehicle right now is the $35,000 Model 3, and that price level is only available in-house. Things are about to change soon. Tesla's goal has always been to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energies, and the company's upcoming cheap compact vehicle will help them achieve this goal at a faster pace. In this video, I'm gonna go over why the evidence points towards a compact car and why this vehicle is not what you think it is. At Tesla's 2018 annual shareholder meeting, Elon Musk stated, I think we'll do a compact car in less than five years. Two years later, in early 2020, Elon Musk unveiled this plan for a Chinese design center, which would be dedicated to designing Tesla's new vehicle. The most important part about Musk's presentation was when Elon Musk stated that he wanted to make the design radical, like the Cybertruck. You know, try, try something just like kind of radical, you know, like Cybertruck, you know. <laughs> Nobody was expecting that, you know. And that's, uh, it's so, we'll just, I think we should try to do something just like, you know, like cool and different and someone the world hasn't seen before. Uh, but like, that really moves their heart, you know, it gets you right there. When Tesla opened its Chinese design center, the company released a photo of a Chinese-designed compact vehicle. Tesla's Chinese design center has been open for over five months now, and the company recently made an announcement on its WeChat account that it would be open for submissions from people all across the world. Tesla's design center isn't just open to certified designers, but also normal people like you and I. This was a subtle sign from Elon Musk telling us that none of Tesla's higher designers were submitting radical designs. As after 5 months of designing, there were still no designs that Elon Musk liked. By opening the design center to normal people, this allows for more creativity. Most car designers that get an education in designing are brainwashed with conventional designs, and would not even think of submitting a design as radical as the Cybertruck. Many of you may be doubting Tesla's ability to bring the cost of its vehicle to a price as low as $25,000 or even $20,000. However, the economics make sense for such a vehicle. At Tesla's autonomy day that took place in 2019, Elon Musk stated that in three years, a robo-taxi could cost $25,000 or less. Yeah, probably say long term, three years, robo-taxis with, with eliminated parts. It maybe it ends up being $25,000 or less. Now Elon Musk does put out some ambitious estimates for the time it takes to achieve a goal. But when it comes to whether or not he will actually do it, in this case, the economics make sense for Tesla to bring down the cost below $25,000. Relax, baby. If Tesla was to bring the price of its new vehicle to twenty dollars to $25,000, then the demand would easily allow for the economies of scale to play out. For example, if Tesla were to acquire raw materials like lithium and nickel in mass, this would lower the cost to manufacture Tesla's exoskeleton, batteries, and every other component needed to build a Tesla. A compact vehicle, by definition, is smaller than usual. This means that Tesla will be able to use less raw material per vehicle, therefore lowering the price of Tesla's upcoming compact vehicle. While Tesla's current vehicles use larger batteries, a compact vehicle would be able to use a battery with far less capacity than Tesla's current vehicles. For example, the base model of the Volkswagen ID3 has a range of 205 miles with a 45 kilowatt hour battery pack. In a recent Reuters report, Tesla unveiled its plan to give batteries a second life. This report stated that Tesla is working on recycling and recovery of such expensive metals as nickel, cobalt, and lithium through its Redwood Materials affiliate, as well as new Second Life applications of electric vehicle batteries and grid storage systems, such as the one Tesla built in South Australia in 2017. By reusing the batteries used in Tesla's upcoming compact vehicle, this will allow Tesla to drive down prices while still producing profits through its stationary grid storage systems such as the Megapack, Powerpack, and Powerwall. Tesla's upcoming compact design won't be what you think it is. When Elon Musk stated that he wants it to be as radical as the Cybertruck, 
it certainly will be the case. Before the Tesla pickup truck was unveiled, many people had their guesses as to what the pickup would look like. Looking back, none of these guesses were even remotely close to the Cybertruck. However, while we can't guess the design, we can certainly predict the specs as long as we look from a business perspective. The cheapest Volkswagen ID3 is able to achieve a range of 205 miles while costing below 30,000 euros. With the combination of Tesla's new CATL batteries and cooling system, Tesla will be able to achieve better specs while costing a cheaper amount. The cheapest Cybertruck has a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack and cost $40,000. If Tesla was to remove the heavy stainless steel, use a smaller battery pack, and reduce the size of the vehicle, Tesla will certainly be able to bring the price down to the $20,000 to $30,000 price for the base model. With Tesla's growing network of superchargers, a vehicle with a 200 mile range would be enough for long road trips while satisfying most of her daily needs. Tesla's autopilot certainly isn't ready for full self-driving yet, but as the years pass by, Tesla's self-driving technology will eventually be at a level for full self-driving, whether it be in 5 or 10 years. With the release of a cheaper vehicle, Tesla will have more people adding their vehicles to the robo-taxi network, resulting in indirect profits for Tesla. With Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory rapidly expanding, Tesla may be able to meet the demand for the Model 3 and Y. After Tesla is able to meet the demand for its Model 3 and Y, it would only make sense to begin producing a cheaper vehicle. As a result, I believe Tesla will be able to reveal its new compact vehicle within the next year or two. Let me know whether you would buy a Tesla compact car in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.